investigate KNHCR is concerned about the government's step to deregister more than 900 non-governmental organizations for being involved in what was termed as a suspicious business transactions. What they are doing, they know for a fact there is no criminality in these organizations. But what they do, they look at these administrative areas so that they can injure you. They know by the time you are able to come back on your feet, maybe you will have lost the plot in terms of preparing for a free and fair election. You will not have done your template. You'll be engaging so much so. Now what we'll, we'll have is Professor Makau Mutua and the rest trying to all the time look for Mkaiseria and, and co to try and get themselves re-registered. So these are kind of some of the simplistic tactics the government is employing. And what they do, they do it in the midst of 900, 957, uh, of which at least 950 are nondescript organizations. KNHCR is also demanding action by government on the leakage of the national examinations. KNHCR officials were launching the fourth state of human rights named Human Rights and Elusive Marriage. Some of the key findings in the report were the extrajudicial killings and disappearance of people, arrest of demonstrators, and further the imposition of high bail terms on demonstrators, security, corruption, devolution, and other issues affecting the nation. The report acknowledges progress that has been made, but cautions that unless deliberate measures are taken to address the challenges, the gain will be eroded and therefore the realization of rights will be a marriage. Halima Gungo, NTV.